Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Brian Jack with Superman's Comics, and we got a little bit of a different video for you because we have some MCU X Men news, don't we, Jack? Yes, yes, definitely some potential rumors coming along the way, courtesy, of course, of Mikey Sutton. Now, we've talked about him a few times on the channel, he is the connoisseur of the movie scoop. And he actually has brought one to us, and we are going to talk about it exclusively right here on the Simple Men's Comics YouTube channel. So we are talking X-Men, and Mikey has reported to us that the, there are talks going on strongly within the Disney and Kevin Feige ranks to get the X-Men franchise going. What it looks like we are going to see is the X-Men introduced very similar to the Avengers, wherein you will get X-Men introduced one at a time prior to them coming together as the X-Men. Some of the keys of what they're looking to do is to establish the uh, Professor Xavier School as kind of like a Hogwarts, a place where X-Men can not only train for missions, but also can study when they're not involved in those missions. Um, we have some information about kind of an idealized team that they're looking for. We're looking at Cyclops, Marvel Girl, aka Jean Grey, Thunderbird, Nightcrawler, uh, Sunfire, Havoc, and Storm. Now, Storm, of course, being from Wakanda, kind of leads me to believe that we could possibly see Storm show up in the future Black Panther movie. Um, and another key is a Wolverine. Wolverine, of course, is gonna be present in the X-Men, but apparently it's gonna be in Weapon X form. Now the movie will be seen kind of lighthearted up until the major event, a major spoiler coming from Mikey Sutton, but they would like to do the death of Thunderbird on a trip to Krakoa. Now, of course, Krakoa was what everybody talked about with the Jonathan Hickman miniseries, House of X and Powers of 10. So this information we're getting from Mikey Sutton certainly leads us to believe that there is gonna be a lot of interest in the X-Men portion of the MCU. Brian, what do you think about all that? Well, I'll say if this rumor holds true, I'm actually really excited for it. I mean, I do have some questions though, just speaking holistically at a macro level, introducing those characters like they have the Avengers. If you try to go back to the well too many times, does it still work? Do people have the patience for it? Are they gonna wanna see you know one show up at a time? Or that many characters, I imagine at some point you're gonna see a few of them, but I think, yeah, slowly leaking them in. I think it could work and I think leading up to it, it'll build that anticipation just like they did with the Avengers. So having said that, yeah, I'm on board for it. You know me, I'm not a big X-Men fan, but I'm a big movie fan. So yeah, I'm excited to see it. And if this holds true, I'll be in the theater for it. Yeah, see, one of the things that, that's kind of, I think, key to the release of these teams uh, throughout the MCU is if you drop the team all together at once, you may overwhelm the casual comic book movie goer. The, you see? The you know, the type of person, yeah, who just really doesn't know these characters. And especially when you start talking about characters to the level of Nightcrawler and Havoc and Sunfire, these are characters who really need to be introduced and kind of have their origins explained, if not fully shown and retold. So I think introducing them piece by piece will do well. We've talked certainly about Rogue possibly showing up in Captain Marvel. So, you know, it, it's early stages and it's not so much about whether or not the rumors are true, but it's important to note. And as Mikey has noted is that the, the, the scripts haven't been written yet. We haven't seen pen to paper. It's all still in the discussion stage, but it's important to know that this is apparently where things are being discussed and looked at going forward. So this will certainly make its rounds throughout the typical comic book news cycle. And we wanted to make sure that we talk about it right here on the Simple Men's Comics YouTube channel. So I do have one question. If they're going to introduce like this, so to me, it would typically take up a whole, as we know it, as a phase of the MCU, right? I could also see M Disney, Marvel, they keep increasing the amount of movies we see per year. I think they have to continue to do so because this, I think, is its own phase, so to say, but they're going to have to keep those other movies going that they've already got the storylines in place for as well. Yeah, but in 
they've got so many vehicles for distribution now going forward from the movies to Disney plus and so on and so forth. I think that, that we're going to get to see um, all of these things play out in due time. So it may be in a future phase before we see the X-Men kind of come together and fully be in fruition, but certainly a lot to be excited for classic X-Men characters kind of bringing in that um, kind of current storyline that has everyone excited with Krakoa. So a lot of reasons to be excited, but either way, the X-Men are coming to the MCU and that is enough to have comic book collectors scurrying to grab those first appearances. Right, so thank you for Mikey Sutton to providing that information. Also, if you're a fan of X-Men, make sure you check out that top 10 X-Men back issue video we have on this channel. Put a link in the description of that. And a happy birthday to Mikey Sutton as well, as this is part of his birthday scoop jam. And be sure to hit that notification bell so that you are notified whenever videos like this that we don't have planned drop on the channel. For Brian and Jack, this has been Simple Men's Comics, and we'll see you in the next video.